beef going on with Missy Lynn. They've been going back and forth on YouTube. Is that serious? Now you should follow suit and just get to the back. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Alright, guys. Welcome back to the Empress Keita Show. This is Keisha Danae, Ryan Simone. <laughs> Ryan is in her quarantined home. We are in our quarantine home. Therefore, it is a quarantine and chill with a virtual friend. Because we are practicing social <laughs> distancing. <laughs> Stay home, kids. <laughs> so right now we just kind of bored because, I mean, we can't go nowhere because Corona. So we on YouTube with it, obviously. But um, there's some drama going on. Do you guys, who wants to take over? What's going on, guys? So basically what's happening is Jayla got some beef going on with Missy Lynn. They've been going back and forth on YouTube trying to get that extra coin. Now we just about to react to it because it's just starting to seem a bit ridiculous. First of all, if you was beefing at that wedding, you should have been beefing <laughs> at that wedding. So basically Jayla Corian came out with a video first talking about her fake friends. Woo, 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 woo. Then Missy... Elliot, I don't know, came out with a video talking about Jayla. So now this is Jayla's response to Missy Elliot. I'm sorry, not Missy Elliot. What's her name? Missy? Some Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't Let's know. Just keep it Missy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian. If you're new. As you guys know, a lot has been going on the past few days. All of the girls booked their flights to leave on Friday, and because Missy wasn't initially coming, she thought we were leaving on Saturday. So, I decided that I'm not leaving my friend in Jamaica by herself. I'm going to buy another flight and stay. First of all, that's what real bitches do. Like, that's just period. Honestly, I feel like when things happen like this and stuff flip like that, that means people was already feeling some type of way for a minute. So, I wake up at about 1 in the morning um, and I go out on the patio. Missy was out there with one guy who was the guy who organized the trip. And, um, you know, I went out there. I grabbed my phone and I just made a simple comment about, oh, I wish I had someone to text. And at this point, I had been broken up with my ex for four months and I was on a whole girls trip for my birthday. It was just innocent, you know. Maybe I wanted to go on a date. I don't know. I, it was just a simple comment. And from that comment, you know, she started to go in and talk about my ex and how he was good to me. and. For me, that relationship was so toxic and it's very hurtful to hear your friend, you know, vouch for a person that you've told the situation. First of all, that ain't her friend place to be doing all of that. I feel like if my friend feel like my boyfriend was toxic, you supposed to feel that with me. Like, you don't gotta encourage it, but you gotta be on the same wave as me. Sometimes you be wrong, like, you know what I mean? It's times where me or Kina are wrong and we be telling each other that we were in the situation that the guy is like this and blah, 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 blah. But we not going to pick him up of our friends. Especially on my birthday. <laughs> right. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the airport at once. <laughs> She was drinking that night and Missy, when she drinks, she gets a little aggressive and she turned into a different person. So I'm listening to the things she's saying and the conversation just got heated. And for me as a friend, you can say whatever to me. I'm, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm listening. You can say whatever, you can call me on my name. But a boundary for me is when someone puts their hands on me. I just can't see myself being friends with someone that does that because I feel like I can't, like the trust is lost. Now leading up to this altercation, I do feel like it was things that contributed to us falling out. When we were in LA, we were flown out there for a brand activation and while out there, um, our manager scheduled meetings because we wanted to maximize our time in LA. Months before LA, I shared with Missy the brand contact for Savage X Fenty. Within all of that, I didn't know that Missy was in communication with Savage X Fenty and our manager didn't know she was actively in a deal with the brand. So it just created some confusion and lack of communication because our manager would have planned us a meeting together if we knew that. She said she gave her the information 
information for the people that was doing the whole Fenty thing, but she didn't know that Missy was already in the works of that. She was trying to put her friend on too before she even knew. Oh, good oh, catch. Oh, because I did. Good catch. I didn't wow. catch that. Me and Missy had more meetings that day and we had another meeting. And at that meeting, we met within just conversation. Um, another deal got brought up. As you guys can see, it's a lot of deals I'm working with at one time. And she disclosed her price and my response was like, yeah, probably the same price. Um, I didn't know at that time what exactly my rate was um, because my manager negotiates all my deals and it, I wasn't like sent product or anything yet. So later on, we were going to dinner. I did look up just to make sure. I was like wondering like, hmm, what is my rate? And I looked it up. So when the conversation was brought back up at dinner, I told her my rate, I was being paid a thousand dollars more. And you know, she told me that she wanted to back out of the deal. And I just didn't know why she would do that over just a thousand dollar difference. Over a stack? So that show you right there, old homegirl was was hating. That's why I said that shit earlier. A stack? Is that serious? But I feel like even if your friend had more profit than you, even if it went to five thousand, why wouldn't you be like, dang, okay, friend, and you get on the same way? Why are you mad at her because she's making more? Why are you upset about it? Right. Oh, I that's not fair. She's just gonna take zero. And for her, it seemed like she was more worried about what other people's prices were compared to hers. When I just feel like, you know, in this job, you should be super thankful to, you know, we have a really cool job. I love my job. I love what I do. I love being on social media and making content for brands. It's something that I love. So I'm super grateful. And it was not my intention to make her feel like I lied or was being secretive. I just really did not know what what my rate was with the brand yet because I was at meetings I'm working with multiple brands at one time and I have an Excel sheet with all my brands listed however you know my manager negotiates my deals now and it's something that I do not have to you know be so hands-on with anymore so I did have to go and look um, before you know telling her it did really hurt <laughs> that I feel like Missy and my ex kind of befriended each other and were communicating with each other because in text messages that I got that I was being her harassed and threatened um, from a text app number it was things that only Missy would know that were being said that was super hurtful so I didn't Missy wanted everything to go left in this girl's life like she really don't want this girl to be on nope she's mad because she's been doing this shit since dinosaur years <laughs> and she's not as big as Jayla Tiny. so I just felt like first of all I think Jayla made a great point when she talked about the fact that you know, you have to be grateful. She's like, I'm just truly grateful. Like, I feel like we should be less worried about what other people are getting in comparison to what we're getting. And just be grateful for the opportunity that we have to have this as our source of income, as our job. And that's honestly, like, that's honestly half the battle. Like, that's why Jayla getting all these deals back to back to back because she grateful. Honestly, like, this whole thing is just petty. It's all about jealousy and about who's getting more and who's getting more. Literally, she's acting like a little kid when you get them a little bit more chips than they brother or something like that. Like, they trying to compare how much each other have. Baby, you can't compete where you don't compare. The numbers don't lie. And that's literally all Jayla has been trying to say the whole video is, why are you mad when it's clear as day? Check your analytics, baby. <laughs> like, it's, honestly, it just it just sounds real petty. And Jayla seems like she was being a bigger person. And honestly, like, she low-key blew me in the beginning when she started talking about, you know, like, I allow my friends to do whatever. Like, they can even call me out my name. No, 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 no. It's a difference when, like, when they call you out your name. Like, clearly, basically what Jayla was trying to say is she put up with a lot. Like, she, she let you do whatever you want until you put your hands on her. And that's probably how it got to that point of her putting her hands on her. So, um, I don't know. That's all I got to say about it. I mean, y'all got anything else to say? I'm done with it. Like, I mean, I feel like we are definitely unbiased. Like, I don't want to come off as that. Like, we, like, it's not about choosing sides. We're just saying our our opinion about it. Yeah, that's I don't subscribe to neither one of these ladies' channels. I love my black sisters i love my black queens you but know we need saying? to stop putting each other down like this yeah. is just, it's yeah. ridiculous like i'm really not familiar with missy lynn's channel honestly so i am i guess slightly biased to the point where i i recognize jayla corian's name yeah. over missy lynn's name 
But like I said, I'm not a fan of neither one. I don't watch Jay LaCorian's videos. I don't subscribe to her channel. I know who she is. I know people who are fans of hers. I don't really know Missy Lynn, so I mean, I don't really have much to say about her in general, but she's definitely rubbed me the wrong way in this situation. It's just, yeah, and it's just all about the maturity. It's like, at some point, like, you just need to accept, like, okay, I was wrong. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if you drunk up too little too much, I ain't just say that. Like, that's yeah, I don't know. Mm, but you did things soberly, too, so it's like, mm. My opinion is biased. <laughs> My opinion is biased. <laughs> Come on. Mm. I'ma just throw, I'ma it, just out throw it out there. <laughs> I knew who they both were, but I'm not subscribed to neither one of them. You know, like, I don't sit there and watch neither one of their videos, but, you know, I had the same opinion about both of them. I just thought they were cool girls that's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But after watching this, I'm definitely, I picked the side for sure. Yeah, instantly. This is just like the energy, it, it speaks out of the videos. Like, you could tell what? genuineism, and it's yeah. just like... It's oh. big, yeah. But um, that's all we got for you today. If you like this video, please thumbs it up, like, subscribe, comment, tell me your opinion. Treat me if you think I need to get treated. Let's hey, let's talk. Let's go back and forth. <laughs> Come on now. Let's, let's get it cranking. We ain't got to do nothing but chill right now because it's quarantine. I'm going to tag the next reaction video that's going to be on Nisha Danae's channel. Um, and make sure you subscribe to Ryan Simone's channel as well. She's obviously a great time. Um, But yeah, so if you were about to watch Missy Lynn's reaction to the video we just watched, so if you want to see that reaction video, make sure you click up here.